Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your July 2018 reading. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. We're going to look at love, career, finance, all the messages I get from the other side. I will relate to you. And please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so only take from the reading what actually is applicable for your life and let the rest go. You can look at your moon and rising sign and pull from those as well. The three combined gives you a really good idea of what to expect this month. So I'm going to start your reading off with the soul's journey. This is a message from the universe for each and every one of you. Whatever area of your life that the universe wants you to focus on, get rid of, bring in, you're going to know how it applies to you in your life. Friendship. I understand, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Beautiful message. Sometimes we have friends that are lifetime and sometimes they come in just to give us a message that the universe wants us to hear. And it could take a few years for that message to come out, but once it does, then the two of you may part ways. So we'll look at that and relate your reading to that message as we go along. Let me pull your cards. And I do allow the cards to come out on their own because it is the angels that are pulling them, not me. It's their messages. So we'll let them pull the cards out too, right? Okay. We have the Tower card, the Two of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands. Some of you are dealing, at the end of the reading, I forgot to say this, at the end of the reading, I will pull your business and finance card as well as your uh, romance angel card. Some of you are in a situation in your work environment where there is a change going to take place. It looks like a change of ownership. And when they implement this, you may already be aware of it, okay? But it is going to actually take place in the month of July. Not the announcement per se, the actual changing will begin in July. And you may not be on board with what they're going to do. The universe is saying, you have a choice. You can stay or you can go. You can go to another company. The person that they're showing me that's in charge is a very intelligent individual, very grounded, and they're very secure in the way that they conduct business. They know exactly what needs to be done, and they will make sure that it gets done. So if you choose to stay, this is going to wind up becoming a really wonderful avenue for you in your career. And you may actually even change your position that you're working on currently. You could, for some of you, have a choice between two different positions, but the changes taking place are gonna lead you to a really wonderful new beginning, if you choose to stay, okay? For another group of you, you may be mourning the loss, the Five of Cups, this is the detail. Uh, that I'm looking to get on these messages. You may be mourning the loss that you and your partner may have ended your relationship. For some of you, this is a soulmate relationship, but regardless, this is a very special relationship. There's a true connection between you and this other person. And you're a little bit at odds. You aren't sure what to do because there was a lot of pain associated, uh, a lot of sorrow, and you didn't want this relationship to end. They're coming back in the month of July, and they are coming back with a sincere apology. They have grown tremendously. They're a completely different person. Uh, I mean, you're going to recognize them, but they're a better version of themselves. They've released a lot of the toxicity that was taking place in their life. A lot of drama. Looks like there was a lot of drama uh, around their life. They weren't ready for a relationship. They're ready now. And they didn't ever want to let go of you, but they felt it was important to let go of you in order for them to do their healing. And actually, that's really, uh, it was a good thing. But they want to start a new beginning with you. 
if you choose to do this, you can have a really beautiful new beginning with them, a very exciting uh, new beginning with them, a secure offer to move forward in an exclusive relationship. For another group of you, you and your partner <clears throat> may have had some challenges, okay, some disagreements about a trip. They're showing me you wanted to go on a vacation, you wanted to go out of town, you wanted to go somewhere and it didn't come through and it could have caused some turmoil in your relationship and your partner is going to apologize to you. They may not have realized how important this trip was to you, okay? But you're gonna tell them, <laughs> okay? They're gonna get this picture. They're gonna, they're gonna get it. It's gonna click and they are gonna come up and they are gonna apologize and extend an offer to take this trip, to, to do this new exciting adventure, whatever it is that, it, that it's gonna be different for each and every one of you. For another group of you, <clears throat> you have um, two new people coming into your life, two new potential prosper, uh, uh, prospects, prosperities, <laughs> prospects coming into your life. We are looking at the sign of Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. These two individuals are both very grounded individuals. One's a little bit older than you are, or you could be older than them, and the other one is younger. So there's going to be an age gap between the two, and you'll have your choice. Do you want the younger one or the older one? Okay, it's like it's, you're going to have a choice. They aren't the same age as you are. Both of these individuals are going to be very nurturing to you. And for some of you, you are not used to it. You are not used to a person giving back to you. This person is all about fairness and equality. They are going to, if you give to them, they're going to give back to you. They're into the reciprocity. They believe in it, completely believe in it. One is very, very good at it. They've been doing it a long time. This is the older person. The younger person is is learning and you're gonna be able to teach them and they're gonna be like a, not like a child, but they are gonna be very sponge-like and absorb all of the things that you have to offer them, okay? And they're gonna take that and they're gonna go with it. So you may be the leader with this one who is younger than you where there's a tremendous age gap going in the opposite direction. For another group of you, you have your soulmate coming. You may already know this person around your work environment. Um, they are very secure, they're very solid. They have built a world that they truly, truly love. And in this world, they have a lot to offer you as far as the materialistic side, but they also have a lot to offer you as far as who they are. Very confident, they're very, um, they're very, they have a little bit of a dry sense of humor, okay? So if you like that kind of sense of humor, it's different, but I see the two of you really, really clicking. And this person, the two of you, you have amazing chemistry between the two of you. And you have an opportunity to start a new beginning with them. So whatever's taken place in your life, if you let go of it, and they're gonna wanna move very, very slowly. So it'll give you plenty of time to heal over anything that you need to resolve. They are already ready. They are healed, they're ready to move forward. They're looking for the permanent relationship. And they want, they see that in you. They see it in you. You're exciting. They want the excitement. They want passion. They feel being with you would be like a brand new adventure every single day. That's really lovely. Now they're gonna wanna start off very slow and they're wanna friendship, okay? They're gonna want to take it slow to get to know you really, really well. For another group of you, <clears throat> It looks like there's a family situation where there could have been uh, an investment opportunity. You and a family member may have partnered up to invest your money. 
and something went awry, something went wrong. You may be blaming the other person, okay, or they're blaming you. But the truth is that it was meant to happen that way because this is an opportunity for the two of you to clear the air. There was something that took place years ago. You or they were hurt, uh, very deeply hurt by it. And you may have been estranged for a little while. And this uh, venture brought the two of you back together thinking, oh, okay, we can fix it. And it went awry. This is your opportunity to fix it. This is your opportunity to extend an apology or receive the apology. But you have the makings to start a new beginning with your sibling, with your parent, whoever this family member is. Could even be a child for some of you. Some of you are actually going to have a baby. This is really lovely, um, lovely energy around this. You may have recently gotten married and now you're getting ready to have a baby. And this baby looks like they'll be uh, born in the month of Capricorn, Capricorn season. This is gonna be an incredible new beginning for you and your partner. It's going to really empower you as a parent and your partner, both of you as a parent, you're both going to mature. You're gonna look at your finances different. You're gonna look at your home environment different. You two together are a beautiful couple and this is gonna really propel you forward. Oftentimes people think when they have a child it sets them back financially, emotionally, it ruins the relationship, right? A lot of negativity and children are the most beautiful precious thing in the world, right? This baby is going to propel the two of you forward and it's going to start a really beautiful new beginning for you in your relationship and it's going to aspire in an amazing way for some of you. For another group of you, You have a situation with um, a child of yours where there's been a form of deception. It looks like they didn't tell you something, like maybe they had applied to a college or a university that you were not aware of, and it's gonna cost more money than you thought because they may have received their acceptance letter. And this is going <laughs> this is going to be very difficult for some of you. You may have to tell your child they cannot go because it's a very expensive school. The universe is saying it's going to be okay. If you give it up to God, ask them, you will find a way to help your child go to this school. There is something out there. Some type of uh, an individual is going to come in this could be a family member but for some of you it's not it's you actually revising your finances and you're going to be able to do it or it's a family member coming in it's going to be different for all of you what they're showing me there is a way they're showing me the money's here okay and the university is over here. All you have to do is figure it out so that you can get the money going in the direction. Your child is going to apologize to you. They, they were just super scared about applying to that particular university because it is a prestigious university. And they thought you would tell them no, and they thought they'd just give it a go. They did not expect to be accepted. They're really happy about it and they're very sad that they felt that they deceived you and they truly want to go. And I assure you, they are willing to put all the energy and effort. They'll work two jobs, they'll work cleaning, doing yard work, whatever it takes to come up with more money to help them go to this college. And this is going to be a really wonderful opportunity for your child. They will propel in life. This university is a key landmark to their individual success in a faster pace rather than going to a community college and then changing over to a university, retaking a bunch of classes, which will cost more money in the end. So it's actually gonna be cheaper this way. So let's take a look at your career 
and finance card for the month. Perfection. Perfection will come through practice. It cannot come by merely reading the instructions. So when we're talking about the Ace of Wands, this is about taking the action to create the life that you want, all right? This is a wonderful message for you guys, and it is one that's gonna help you, I believe, very much in the month of July. You have everything here. This is a really a beautiful reading. The only thing that's negative is the tower. And the tower is not a bad thing. It means a change is taking place in your environment. So let's take a look at your romance angel card for the month. And there it is. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Okay, so when I'm telling you whatever's taken place in the past, the new person coming, the soulmate, for some of you, you're going to meet your soulmate. You're going to meet your true life partner. For others, your soulmate is coming back, and they've grown, and this is the person you've been waiting for. This is the true essence of their being. So, Keep an open mind. Changes are good, and they are afoot for all of you. Have a wonderful month. If you like the, my style, if you like the way I do my readings, please click subscribe. That keeps this channel up and going. Thank you for watching. Much love.